Hello, and welcome back to Path of Exile. This is step two of the guide to gearing up quickly and easily. In the first uh, uh, step, step one, we used the vendors. We're still doing that a little bit, and in this video, I hope to show you how to get the currency to make our first trade with a player. But we're not there yet, so let's, uh, let's get into it. We'll bring up our character, and I actually find, I found this in the last episode. If you didn't find one of these, and you find yourself really running out of health, I have not had to use a health potion since I've equipped this. So it's really nice to use it. It's that nice. But if you don't have a problem with health, and you're, 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 not, you're not worrying about it, and you're using your health potions, go ahead and use a nice big two-hander and smash stuff down and do that. But if you want to make life easy, just come over here if you haven't found one of these yet. Purchase items right from this vendor. And we're going to go over to this tab. And we're going to look for, and of course, oh, right here is one. And, ooh, that's an upgrade, oddly enough. And it takes a whetstone. I'm a little bit concerned about using that one. But it's a nice upgrade. You you would think it wouldn't be because you're like, oh, this is a, a white item. That's a, a rare item in yellow. But it is because that plus six, or that six per enemy hit is twice as much. So we get twice as much back. A little tempting to do. So let's let's go ahead and go for it. So we're gonna we're gonna actually gonna use it and buy it. Normally it wouldn't cost this much. I don't think it would cost one of these. But if it does, keep on looking on the ground for one of these. I've passed up a few um, plus three enemy per hit fist weapons on the ground, so we're okay. And at this point, you should be picking up just the blue items and the rare items to sell because I'll show you what we're gonna do next with those. Okay. We can give this a shot, and then we'll test it, okay? If you have one of these, it's okay. We found it, so let's do it. Okay. Now we've got that. Now let's take a look at what it does to our damage. And there's one other thing we can do to this. We can make this into a... Remember how we were selling all those blue magic items unidentified, and we were getting these transmute shards? Well, if you get 20 of them, you get one of these. And what it does is it turns a normal item, which is normal white, into blue. Let's go ahead and do that with that weapon. There we go. Just one of these. And, and it's worth it to do it on a weapon. A weapon is a pretty important part of our skill set here. So let's do it and hope for something lucky. Ah, not bad. We've got um, two to four. It adds a little bit of cold damage. Now we could use this augment as well. If, if you find one of these by chance, then you could add, because right now it only ha has one. Um, one explicit modifier line that adds line. We could get another another. You get two lines down below. There, in, the implicit is the grants six. And if you hold Alt, it'll tell you that. So let's go ahead and try that. Here we go. Hope oh, for some one other item. Intelligence. That's not horrible. It's just something. So now we're gonna use this thing. We're gonna open up our character screen to see. And it says 43 damage. Now, this isn't perfect representation, but it's something. Just to give us an idea. Well, let's see if it goes up or down or sideways. A little bit up. And what we lose is, is the dexterity. That's fine. The fire. All the, uh, all the other stuff is based on damage. But this does more damage. So we're in great shape. Oddly enough, we're just going to sell that. The other thing you might find is something like this. See how that's a psych uh, white socket? That means any color gem can go in there. That's a really convenient thing. So, we're going to identify it. We're going to hold down control, and it's going to compare it to the current one we have on. Well, this is really a lot nicer. It has 73 armor. We want to focus on armor and not necessarily evasion right now. So let's go ahead and swap that out. And if you notice, now we can put that there. Ancestral Protector. That's interesting. Well, we've had this Ruthless Gem that we've been not leveling up, but we might use it still. But if we put it here, and we hover over it, see how it connects it? Now, our Ancestral Protector actually benefits from Ruthless Support, so it'll actually do more damage. It's kind of fun. So let's uh, sell these two items off. And when we sell them, watch this. This is really important. These have been... That's a regular item, so we're just going to get a regular thing for it. A fragment, one-fifth of a scroll, but this, we get 12 alteration shards. Now watch, 
It'll automatically combine them with our alteration charts. Now we have two of these. Now what those do, we don't want to actually use it, but you can right click and then roll and it'll re-roll those two modifications. Not the, not the grant six part, but it'll re-roll those. But we don't want to do that. We're going to actually save these up to trade with another player for an item that is really a, a big upgrade for us. So we're going to put this stuff down here. And then, well. just for now, we're going to go back and yeah. sell those portal scrolls. So we have seven now. So we're in good shape. We want to start having enough of these to identify the blue and um, gold rare items so that we get more of these alteration charts. That's our goal next. And I don't want to put it and mix it in with all this loot. We're going to hold control and shift and it'll put it in this one. And this is a little bit big, so let's actually use one of the random ones down here. And I'm going to put right click and it puts it all the way to the top of the list. And we'll just put it right at the top of the list. I'm going to hold down control and shift. That way it'll put it in this one and it won't automatically put it in in those things. We'll even put that there. And we'll hang on to these just in case I want to do something with them. And if you don't have your affinity set, like right here, um, you right click and then you click the, you have to click that affinity so that that way, if you're on some other tab and you can control shift, all nine of these will go right into that tab. Um, that's why I have to have control shift here otherwise it would it would put them in the other one i don't want that i want to, uh, this this guy is going to be a representation of a new character from scratch we'll continue on and i did take this that helps with our movement speed that's really important and now we're going to grab the the life next so we're making our character as easy as possible to play and then we're going to continue on i look at the menu the map and it says we're on the ledge and if you're ever on the ledge um there i'll show you the trick to point you the way, way forward and you click these these tell you where to go so we want to continue on there so let's go to the ledge we've got a new weapon that heals us for twice as much oh, a bunch of guys here waiting for us and as you can see i am not using a heal potion at all pretty cool now we'll level up these things. Very nice. And what does it cost? This costs seven mana per cast. Ooh, a triple red. That's our first triple red. We could, if we wanted to, we'll identify it. In fact, we'll identify both of these. We'll compare it to our current one. And we'll leave our current one on there. It's got a red socket on there. But this is a triple link red item. Now... This is kind of nice. It's really nice, actually. And it could replace this. Um, the armor's lower, but that doesn't matter. What matters is we could go like this. We could do Bolt Strike, uh, Ancestral Call Support, and Ruthless. Let's give that a shot. So we're going to go like this. Like that. That's our first triple red. That's why I always like having these shown on the, the screen as well. So now let's go ahead and put our Ruthless on there. We'll put this up here. And for now we're going to move this Steel Skin over here. So now our the, the stat or the colors of the socket on our shield doesn't even matter. We can replace this stuff. It doesn't even matter then. We're going to save that just in case we want to switch back. And oh, and then we got to put our Steel Skin back over here. And then we'll go like that. Pretty cool. Now let's grab that blue item and that blue item. And away we go. Now, every third hit, our, um, what do you call it? Uh, oh, an orb of chance. Ooh, that's really nice. We're going to save all those because we're going to make deals with them, with other players. All right, so I'm going to continue on and then I'll be right back. Basically, I'm picking up the blue and the, and the, um, and the rare item and then the currency as well. But I do not have to heal at all. Pick that up. That's I picked that up because it's a one fifth of a wisdom scroll, and it only takes one. Um, what do you call it? One spot in our inventory. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, a 
glass bobble, that's really good too. We're going to be able to sell that. Let's take a look at that coral ring. What's the number on it? 27. I think ours is better that we have on. Yes, ours is a 29. We'll keep it. There we go. Okay, let's take this guy down. We'll drop our totem down. That gives us more damage, plus it's doing more damage. And we just sit here right in the middle of everything. I don't have to worry about anything. I haven't used the heal potion yet, and we're in good shape. Ooh, a Rustic Sash. I'm going to keep this on here instead, but the Rustic Sash would give us a little more damage. I look at this one. Oh, that's only three. We'll pick up that and that, and let's keep going. I am looking for a Leather Belt. That'll give us more life. Make life even easier. It seems weird, but we're having a good time with this. Let's, let's keep going. So I made it to the next waypoint. And the next thing I kind of want to address is this mana issue. I don't want to have to push this as often. So what we're going to do is we're going to sell what little help I can offer this stuff right here. And we're not going to go for the alterations. I need one more of these. So we're going to sell them un unidentified. We don't need that item, we don't need that, or that, and that. Oh, that was unidentified. Okay. Oh, and we can fill off that, and we're in good shape. And the ring. Oh, we must have did a, a combination. Let's take that back out. And because I sold this with an iron ring, it turned it into that item. A plus, nine, uh, plus 30 total resistance um, ring. But we don't want to do that. I think it was that. Yep, it was that. And then we'll sell that off. Sell this. Sell this portal scroll. And we'll sell that. But that's how you'd get like a resist resistance item. We're going to say accept. And then we're going to identify the boots. Just in case it has movement on them. Movement speed. Beautiful. So here, look at all that stuff on there, right? You'd think, oh, this is way better. I want the movement speed that bad. Toss it on there, and away we go. Now we're just going to sell these this item, and we're going to going to get. Oh, we got a um, augment. That's nice. Okay, so this is all our loot, and we're probably not going to wear this, but we'll put it over here just in case. And we're going to control shift it in there again. Now the neat thing is, we're getting enough loot here to where we can almost make a deal with a character with with a with another player. But we'll we'll get there next. Let's um. Oh, we're going to buy the up. Sorry about that. It will take the item out of here if you have the the, the thing to buy. I'm um, sorry, the currency. It will take it out of your stash for you. And that's going to take one of our um, one of these. God hasn't abandoned us. So we'll actually just to make sure it takes it out of here. We'll go like that, and we're going to buy this mm -hmm. regeneration thing. It's going to help us a little bit, which is fine. And then it took it. Good. Now it'll regen our mana a little bit. Because this is not becoming an issue. And this is an issue. And movement speed. Our damage is taken care of. This is very easy. Let's take a look if we can get a leather belt. Or we could go for more damage. We haven't been getting... Um, we have not been getting hit at all. We could go... This one is interesting, but no. We're just going to get a regular one for two wisdom scrolls. And we're looking at the 23 per increase. 20, we'll do this one. And let's see what it does as far as damage. We put it on that there, 48. Oh, not bad. What is that about? Uh, 9%? That's pretty cool. And we're going to sell this off. Reduce flash charges. We're fine with that. Okay. And let's keep going. Farewell. We're getting, we're getting, right now, I mean, it's really easy. Real, everything's pretty easy right now. Okay, early on, if you ever come to one of these, this is actually a pretty interesting um, item that's guaranteed to drop here. It's not really worth trading um, with other players, this item that comes out of here, this particular one, because it's a weak version of this, but it's still pretty nice. So let's uh, put a totem down, triple click on this, and we're going to fight the main, main boss in there, the middle there. He has a bunch of helpers, and then the main guy in the middle. And again, I have not used a heal potion in quite a few levels now. Nice, and he drops good stuff, but this is the thing we're after. And I'll let, let's take a look at it. I'll explain how that works. 
So this, we're gonna we're gonna end it up we're gonna end up identifying these things, and selling them because we're gonna try to get the alteration shards back. Those are what we're gonna ideally use to trade with another player. Now look, let's take a look at this item. One-handed, it automatically. What this thing is gonna do? It's gonna turn a normal item like this that it used to be normal. It's unfortunate that we upgraded it to magic. It'll take a normal item and turn it into a rare, which has a lot of ch chances at multiple modifications. It could have, I think it might could have maybe even six at this level. It'd be weird, but that would be cool. Um, and that's if you use it as a, on a normal one-hander. It would add that physical damage. So that's perfect for us. Um, a two-hander would add more because it's only a two-hander. You know, nicer. Gloves. It can add physical attack to gloves. Um, we're going to get a better pair than that. And then jewelry. We could actually use this on jewelry and turn this into a rare piece of jewelry. But, but we're going to we're going to use it on a weapon. That's going to be the most important thing. So we're going to save that for a, a fist weapon, ideally with six life per enemy hit. So let's keep going. And we can definitely buy one of those at the vendor at the next town. So if we don't find one, we can buy one at the vendor. And it'll be the right version of it as well. But this is why we're buying all these, uh... There we go, let's do that. Nice. Or we're looking in all these, um... Chests and everything, because the Wisdom Scrolls, we don't want to have to do the Wisdom Scroll recipe. Oh, let's get this guy down. The pain. We have not used the heal, the heal potion yet. But we're in good shape. Easy gameplay. There's a nice large life flask. We can actually use that recipe. Three of these would upgrade to the next size. But let's just replace this one. This is our backup one. Oh, not there. This is our backup one. We haven't even used the, the regular one yet. We'll save this. We might be able to upgrade three of these to a bigger one. And each bigger one, see this does 150 over three and a half seconds, and it we could use it four times because it's well, actually three times before it's out of charges, kind of, then it would have to recharge. But this one, uh, three times, three uses before it's almost, you know, we could use it, have to charge it up back a little bit. This does 250 over three and a half seconds versus one. The next one is even better, etc., etc. Let's, um, oh, here's a nailed fist. No, but it's three. But that's still, we'll, we'll sell it off. We'll sell that off, and we'll sell this off. I'm just looking, are there any gloves on the ground? Yeah, but not the kind we want. We want armored gloves. We'll upgrade that. And we're going to upgrade our health as well. Let's take this guy out. Totem. And let's 256 health. And now, or 309. We're a juggernaut. Well, not yet, but... <laughs> I almost had to use this. I was down to this much health, but I didn't want to do it. Um, so that's really nice. This thing, just that six health per hit, was enough to have fun with that. This Jade Amulet, if we ever need dexterity for some reason, let's keep it. And then, let's say we have an item that we need some dexterity to put on, but it has dexterity on it once we put it on, well, this would allow. We could put that there, have enough dexterity to equip it, and then we could take that and switch it back. It's nice to have one of those just sitting around. And... Is this shield better than our current shield? It's an unidentified. That's a little... Ah, well, I like the movement speed. I don't even care about that one. And we don't have any room to pick anything else up, so let's keep going. So we're back in town, and we're faced with a uh, choice. There, In general, this Molten Strike, you can't really go too wrong here. So we're looking at all these things and I like this one. Um, so, but we need a red, red, green. We don't have that yet, but we can usually, we'll, we can take it and just hold on to it until we get that. Right now we have this and this, and these things are really, you don't want to mess. You really want to keep that one on there, but red, red, green would be better for me than uh, this ruthless one. And I like faster attacks because faster attacks being more attacks per second, more life hit per second, I'm safer, and it and it ups our damage as well. But what we're going to do is we're going to take it, and we're going to put it right arbitrarily right there. Okay. Um, for now, this Ancestral Protector, we're going to put it next to it so that it swings faster. But this way, even if it was just by itself over here and it doesn't support anything, 
we're still getting EXP and, and building that up, which is good. So now it's helping that make it stronger and hit more, more quickly, which is cool, and we're going to end up using it as well. And then if we want to, we could buy another one. Should be able to, let's say, and you just type in fast. And how much would it cost? A whole trans... You don't technically do it. We're going to use these transmutes or something else more important. But you could buy another one. And then level up one so that once we do get a red, red, green linked item, we could do Molten Strike with that. And let's sell this stuff off. Oops. We want to ID it now. And that's why we need enough of these scrolls. So we'll ID that, that, and we know we're not going to use it because look at this. It's, it's a nice item. It, it hits pretty hard, but it doesn't have the, the... It's so nice to have that six per life. Six life per hit. And this is a three life, so we won't use that. So we'll sell that one off. And now we're getting alteration shards pretty quickly now. And ancestral protector. That, I moved that in the wrong spot. Nope. We'll level up that one. I don't know why I have two there. Sorry about that. Oops, not that. Heck. There we go. And let's put these in here. We got some backups. We're getting closer and closer to making our first deal. Let's keep going. Oh, right over here. You're gonna get your um your dweller reward for down on the down in that down there, and you're gonna get this thing, and it's basically a skill book. It's like leveling up for free, one extra point. That's why I do those side quests and do all the other things. And we're shooting for this next. So, um, let's take it. Apply. Just more health. And then this one's kind of nice, too. Strength. Regen. So this is going to naturally regen some. And then we'll go from there. Pretty cool. 323 health. And does he have a... I don't think he sells leather belts. That's technically like a jewelry item. Let's see if she has any leather belts. Doesn't change very often over here. Oh. Oh, my gosh three alchemy orbs, but you can see that's a lot of stats, a lot of nice stuff, but we don't have enough to buy that. Let's keep going. As you're leveling up and leveling along, um, you might come to, some, it will say something like Trial of the Ascendancy, and it's really important to do these. So all you do is you walk in, and you do the little puzzle thing. We have so much health that we don't even mind if we get hit by the spike trap. Let's go, we'll try to get hit by it. We open up the lever, Come back this way. Let's see how well we do. There's our... Okay, we got hit by a spike trap. Did anything really happen to us? Oh yeah, we got a little tiny bit of damage. <laughs> so we can ignore that. That's nice. We're, it's nice to be able to get to the point where you're, you can ignore things. We're going to be doing our first trade pretty soon here. And we'll just walk where they are. Where the spikes are. And we need wisdom scrolls for... That's nice. Alteration charge. We're using wisdom scrolls primarily to get more alteration shards. And let's do that. Come on. Because we want to use those to make our first trade. Gloves. Interesting. Let's let's ID the gloves. Those might actually be an upgrade. There. Yeah, let's put them on. Get a little more strength. A little more life, a little more damage. And then we're gonna we're getting low on these, and I'm gonna show you how to fix that as well. Now I've done all these trans uh, things. You're gonna have to do a bunch of these, and that's gonna un unlock your ability to do it in ascendancy, which is really important. Okay, so let's uh, upgrade that, and this opens up the portal, and we're right back over here. We can continue on opening up chests. Need a lot of wisdom scrolls. Another uh, a bit of a uh, another point to spend and we'll spend it right here nice more health now we naturally regen health too pretty cool these armor scraps are going to be a key item too i think we can sell those I, i'm almost positive we sell these for wisdom scrolls so we're going to get a bunch that way pretty cool these uh strong boxes you could ID them, and it would tell you what kind of trap is in there or what kind of thing. 
And then if you really had tons of currency, you could re-roll them too until you get better mods. I don't want to use this, but we'll do it just for to show you. That that can be re-rolled with an alteration, but that's really expensive. When you're brand new, you shouldn't be doing that. And but you could re-roll something and get some good mods on a chest. Pretty cool. And there we go. Let's open it up, and then let's see what we get. Anything? Oh, some stuff. Pretty nice. All right, medium life flask. And it has some... We're going to save this one because that quality 11, if we sell um, enough flask where the quality adds up to um, 40, we can get a glass bobble, and those are worth a lot more. So I don't want to use this in a recipe, a 3 for 1 recipe to upgrade to the next level. I want to keep that. So, And we get this and that, and we'll take this for a fifth of a wisdom scroll because it only takes up one spot. And... oh. And do we have enough room to pick up these? We're not going to be IDing these. We've got a, boot, a set of boots with 10 on them. We're going to be upgrading these very soon. Let's keep going. Well, we are, we are going to ID them, but we're going to sell them. Give the warden my All right, we're going to do our first boss fight here of significance. But we're going to do it so smoothly that you're going to be a... It, it should be... It should go over really smoothly. We're just following this blood trail on the ground here. Kind of see it there. I should be checking these things. We'll take that and turn it in. If you want, you can actually switch to a this ring that we got. It would add more mana. So if you really, you know, we might actually switch that off because we've got a lot of health. We'll do that right after this fight, though. Because <laughs> it makes, uh, the more mana will make it nicer. It will make it easier. I, right now we have a lot of health. We'll have some fun. Going. We're following this, and here it starts. We're going to use our totem, and it's going to be... Here he comes. I don't want to do a spoiler. We're going to drop that down and let him fight that for a second. And then we're just going to face tank him down. I've got a heal. I could actually use it during this fight. We'll see. It's actually healing myself back up just from that. That hits pretty hard. And... Using our mana, we have not healed yet, but we're using those mana potions a lot. So you can see, mana is a bigger issue than um, anything else. Look at that, no heal potions used. And done. Very cool. Ooh, this is going to help our um, chances at buying some other players as well. All right, so right away we're faced with this issue. Let's drop the. Um, uh, magic items that are on the ground because we're going to get better, more alteration shards from the other item. We'll drop that. We'll take the boots and the vest. And we keep on going. We'll just ignore all that stuff. And put that back on and we're going to go to town and sell. But that's an easy fight. I didn't use a single heal potion. Um, I just stood there and face tanked them. Oh, Hello, buddy. Things are going to get tougher, though. Now, let's go back to town, and we're going to sell. All right. We're going to ID stuff, too. So if it is an upgrade, we can keep it. We'll do that one, and that one, and that one, and that one, and that one, that one, that one. And this is a chromatic. For some, uh -oh. welcomed with Sell item. If you don't have enough room in your inventory for a reward, you just check here. It'll say something about reward if you talk to her once you make room, and you can get the reward from the vendors that way too. We're going to sell the items. Now, this is red, red, green. Um, we don't have a good replacement for it. It would be nice to use that, but it's, it's, okay. it's got a lot of armor too. We're going to hold on to that for a second because we might have a solution very shortly to this red, red, red you know, issue. But this one we'll get rid of. It's an evasion thing. Energy shield we'll get rid of. That one and that one and that one. And even that one. Does this have movement on it? Because if it did, it would probably be better than these. But it doesn't, so it's gone. And we'll sell the ring. And away we go. Um, damage isn't really an issue. We could keep our 
it, this is where you'd have a choice. Do you want more life, uh, or do you want more mana? We're going to go with some more mana right here. And also, we're going to sell this. If we sell this, we get two wisdom tools. Pretty cool. And as you can see, we're getting low on them. And we're going to sell the portal scroll and these these for eight of those shards. So we're in good shape. Let's go put our stuff away okay. and see what we're up to now. We've got two. Oh, that's a mana. We'll separate it off. We're almost up to the point where we open. Oh, we just want to separate that one off because once we get 40, we can do um, a recipe to get a bobble. And those are expensive. We're going to hold control and shift. We're going to put all this stuff right over there. And most likely this is going to go away too. But that was a good example mm -hmm. of that item. There we go. And Bye. there we go. And what is it? He'll give us some cool. Oh, I'll talk to him. The warden's free of his own. Alright, we have a choice here. Shield charge, leap slam. slam nice. Vitality, that uh is a natural helps regen. It'll this thing right here. It'll reserve some of your mana. Once it's like a buff that reserves some mana, and then, um, and then it you know it regens your health. So if you want, you can get that. And once these are available here, you can actually buy them from Nessa as well. But we're gonna do Leap Slam, and we're gonna pair it with faster attacks because that's gonna make it even smoother. And we can do more leap slams. I like that. And then if you want, you could, we could go over there and we can reserve some life. Mm -hmm. It's like 10% or something. Purchase. Go to the second tab. Type in Vitality. Uh, right there. And for a, a transmute, you could do that. Um, we're also saving this for a good item. Um, and we could do that, but we don't have a red slot, and I don't need the vitality right now, and I like having a little more mana than I do, so let's Goodbye. keep going. And this is a good example of, um, let's take this, not reading the full thing. Um, it's okay, we're going to get there, but um, this leap slam, it requires an axe, mace, scepter, or sword, or staff. We're using that, so you can't leap slam with... Um, We'll see the picture as a big weapon. We can't sleep slam with that. That's okay. We're going to address it later. You can do the vitality and just go back and buy that. Or neither. And But I'm going to keep it there and level it up. Even though it's not connected. So we'll put it back over here. And we'll put that with that. I forget that you can't use leap slam with that. So we'll take that off. Because I was going to jump down that ledge right away. <laughs> there is a way you could do it where... And it would be kind of funny. Um, we could do this. Let's pick this item up. And then we're going to go to our second um, second thing here. And be careful when you're uh, switching weapons. That might come off of there. So now, we've switched weapons. Could come up with this as a, um, right here. All right. Now... I've got my second set of weapons there, right? Kind of weird. Well, we're going to put it as... Um, let's see. We'll put it as two on our second weapon set. Get rid of that. We'll put this back here for just a second. Okay. Now, I want to be able to weapon... <coughs> I'm sorry about that. I want to be able to weapon swap very smoothly. So let's see. We can do, like, maybe not really smoothly, just occasionally. Um, options, input, let's see where weapon swap is, I probably took it off, weapon swap, shift C, so now we're on this ledge, and we can't go down there, you can just go shift, shift Z, and then, oh, I didn't, the right one there, I'll get there guys, I promise, then you can jump down, and then you can switch back, it's cheesy, but it could work if you want to go that route. And now it's leveling up in the background. And what we'll do is we're going to get a couple of uh, um, weapons with three sockets. And then we'll be able to... Um, or we're going to get six sockets to be able to level up gems in the background. 
so that's important as well. Let's keep going. This was a very nice find. That's 12. And then we could... We want to keep these. But, but that's 12 wisdom scrolls right there. And away we go. We also have a point, And at this point... I'm going to come back and explain the thinking at the... What you want to do it at this point. There's a few things, but it, they're a little bit further away. To, and we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out together. Right now, just, you don't have to spend the point. Um... We'll go from there. Okay, we found a plus seven. This is plus six. Let's compare this. Let's identify it. Oh, we got a shield here, too. Let's identify both these. But we're going to anyway, so... Because we're going to sell the items. Okay, this one is um, critical strike. We'll hold down control to compare it. I like that. It has more damage at the top there. It's going to be better across the board. So that's 58. We put this on 70 so we're already a chunk better then what does this do got the red so that's okay in fact we could get this off of here and put it over here um all right so we'll compare this one uh three percent less movement speed actually i love movement speed but this is a lot of stats and some lightning resistance and more life and more life and more armor what are, oh, and 60 more armor. Okay, let's take a look at our armor stat. Right now we're at 31. Put this on. 53%. Pretty nice. We'll keep that. We'll keep going. Okay, we're in town, and we're about to do our first trade with another player, or at least offer to do a trade. And let's go ahead and find out what we can actually offer. Now, we don't have chaos orbs, but... Here. We, what we do have are these and chance orbs and these. Um, we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna hold on to those. We're gonna offer maybe this much, five of those, a glass bobble, and three orbs of chance. We're gonna see if that will do it, and we're gonna search for the item we need. Let's do it. So you're going to go to pathofexile.com, you're going to go to trade, and you're going to make sure you want to be on um, the search for items and not bulk item listing. That's where you look for currency. You're going to make sure it's on PC or whatever mode you're in, uh, the right league, Affliction League, that's the current one, and then online. You don't want to search for people offline, that doesn't really help, but you can use that to see what the price should be, and then we're going to search for the item. And it's going to be a wanderlust. So you could type in with the tilde key, the little squiggly key at the top left of your keyboard there, and you could type in Wanderlust. Or, if you don't know the full name because we're using that squiggly thing, it'll do like a fuzzy search. Lust, chew, and it brings it up. We're going to search, and we're not doing a straight offer where we don't have a chaos orb. So we're going to do an offer where we'll, we'll see what we can do. We're going to copy... And it was a and this item has four links on it, so that's good. That's what we want. And it's got a, a decent mana reservation regen rate. But we just want this item because of the movement speed. And we can't be frozen. So let's do that. Okay, so we're gonna open this up. We're gonna open our inventory and then we're gonna open up a chat and we're gonna say paste. And that's gonna talk to that guy right there. And then it say, what'd you do? We're going to change this. Would do this for that, those boots. And then we're going to get rid of the, last, the rest, the chaos orb. And we're going to say, one glass bobble. Three chance orbs and five alteration alter alteration orbs. I think they're orbs. Yeah. Orbs. It's okay if no.
There we go, and we'll see if he takes it. These are pretty... I think these are almost worth a chaos now, but we can't trade them. So we're just going to see what he does. And it's, you know, it doesn't hurt to ask. And we're going to see. And during the beginning of the league, those are going to be more expensive. So you're going to have to offer more or actually have a chaos or two chaos or whatever the price is. And no luck, no luck. But that's how you search for your first item. And we'll wait this out and see what happens. He wrote back, thank you. Uh, no deal. Uh, no deal. And it looks like he might have a different language. We'll see. Might be a language barrier issue. Back road. He's got these weird little light buttons. They were sold. Okay. Okay, thank you. And away we go. So we're going to keep looking on that... Um, Oops. We're going to keep looking on that website and refreshing it occasionally, and then we'll see what comes up, and we're going to collect a little more to make it more enticing, and we can do it quickly. So um, let's take a look at that again. And if we search, it should his item should be gone, and it is. That was a good item because it had four links in it. So let's say we wanted a four-link item, and we're going to offer that to somebody. So we're going to go to Show Filters. This is gonna look, this looks complicated, but it's pretty cool actually. We're gonna go with four sockets, um, four links, and we're gonna search again. Now it'll only show us things that are um, are 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 that way, that have four sockets. Now this is a corrupted item. That means you can't change the colors. So these are not gonna be these won't sell very you know list, listed a day ago, listed three days ago got to be careful with that red red green. it would be ideal triple red with a green if it's corrupted but that's not corrupted and that's listed 19 days ago so let's make an offer on this one so we're going to go copy and that gets his name and let's go back to the thing and we're going to sweeten the offer by putting a couple of augments in there as well so let's let's give it a shot and mesh it this guy all right, so we're going to open this up to be able to tell what we have. And then we're going to say that, press paste, and I would like to buy your Wanderlust shoes. And we're going to get rid of this. In Affliction League, and we're making an offer. And it's kind of annoying for these guys. Uh-oh. In Affliction, blah, 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 top left. And then we say four. This is a different language, so it's going to be tr it's going to be tough. But one glass bobble, bobble, three chance orbs, five alteration orbs, and two augments. It's cool if. And I don't know if they're going to do it because it's um, a, you know, it's a different uh, language here. We'll see. Like Russian? Cyrillic? But it's a long time ago. And this is kind of interesting. They might take the, do the deal. And they might not. But it's a different language, so it's a little bit harder. But at least we left the stuff up there and they know where it is. And It's been up there 90 days, just sitting in this stash tab. And we'll see if they do it. Three chaos. It didn't sell for three chaos, so it's not worth three chaos. It's probably worth one or two chaos. Probably two chaos. But, you know, he hasn't gone back to his dash tab. So we'll see what happens. Uh, he might message us. And let's keep on going. We're going to put this into our offer thing. We're going to make a little pile of offerings here. Just make sure it doesn't. Uh, this doesn't go up. There we go. We're in good shape. Let's keep going. So we made an offer. We've narrowed down our or, our our trade 
specification to a four linked item and we're gonna go from there okay we found another all here we're gonna pick it up and we're just gonna hang on to it we're gonna hang on to it until the next city because we might use this on this one but if we find a better better one we're gonna use this to upgrade it so we're gonna go from there so I'm still searching for um, a deal on these things on the boots no rush on that though we're building this up and we might actually um, convert this into chaos which will make deal offering just you know we'll just have the chaos to do it let's go uh, let's find out what we're gonna spend these three points on there's a lot of different things you could do um, you could just go right over here and get 20 worth of all resistances and that would make um, you resist and take less damage from cold fire and lightning or we can go this route we're gonna yeah on this build I end up going over here anyways and this is um where you maybe want to follow a build guide for your particular thing but this is just a generic just uh, easy thing so we're gonna go over here with these three points and one two three we're heading over for this stuff um, I like that it helps with melee strike range and does damage and helps regenerate and gives us some strength and then this one over here allows any kind of movement penalty from the armor you're wearing that's gone plus it gives us accuracy it gives us attack speed and all that kind of stuff and we have two choices in between here we can get a bunch of mana issues and get some intelligence that's kind of nice or we can go down this way and get life and armor and evasion so we'll have either way to go pretty cool and to give you an idea of what those glass baubles are actually worth, we're going to go back to the trade site. We still have this other one going with the other search tab open. We can always refresh it and make offers there. But if people aren't taking your offer for the, the things you're offering, you could go and try to get some chaos. And this is how you do that. So you'd say, what do I have items on this side? We're going to the bulk exchange now. And we're looking for the glass bobble right here. One of those. And we want chaos orbs right there let's search it now <laughs> this guy is making a deal where if you pay a hundred of these you get 181 well you don't have a hundred so let's scroll down if we had two we could get three uh, chaos orbs and then we wouldn't have to make a deal we just flat out trade the person um there's a chance there's an outside chance that we could get um three chaos orbs for this so let's do this contact this guy and we're gonna see what happens let's go give a an offer for his three chaos orbs for this kind of a deal here we go so we're still gonna offer him all of this for his three chaos here we go I might take it might not but it's worth offering maybe <laughs> oh it's in English so that helps us hi Hello, wood. Two. One. Glass. Bottle. Eight. Alterations. Two chance. Orbs. And three augments. Or three chaos. Let's see if we uh, if we can get this. We'll have our first three chaos. Now this might not work earlier in the league because chaos are going to be more worth more. But are later in the league, if you can do this, and if he wants to make the deal, let's see. Usually he's going to be doing deals for a lot more than this. And we'll see what happens. Oh, well, we've got a deal. And then we're going to right click on here. We're going to visit his hideout. Now this is going to make things a lot easier here. We're going to accept the trade. We're going to control click all this stuff in. There we go. Accept. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very cool. And away we go. And we'll leave the party. And we're gonna go right back to town. Now we're gonna now we have three chaos to work with. Oh boy. 
now we now we can we're cooking with gas <laughs> here we go we're gonna go back over to the other one and we're gonna try to get those shoes now okay we're gonna refresh it we're gonna show the filter and we, we want nice ones we want four sockets with four you know all linked up all right and we want two reds let's find out two reds come on two reds and a, that's probably it we already messaged him the other way and he said no Ooh, this one might work this is cool red red green green I'm trying to think we'd have faster attacks and what else I don't know what the third one would be closer attacks or something um this might be better oh, but this one has a lot of mana regen we're just gonna go with this one it's not corrupted so we could always re-roll the colors here we go Oh, that's that Neo guy. We already mentioned him. Now we have our uh, press that automatically sent. It's sent over there. We have the three chaos. And let's see if he takes the deal. He should, but we don't know. Maybe he's going to just ignore us because three chaos at this point isn't that much. And we'll see. Otherwise, we can mention that that other one. And. We're waiting, anticipating. Come on. And let's go message the other guy. So that was both those guys that we messaged. Now we have their three chaos that they wanted, and there's the deal. So we're going to go visit that hideout. And we're in the right step. On the right track. Now we have the three chaos. And it's going to... Once he shows up here, we're in his hideout. He's going to open up the trade. We wait for him to go to his thing and get that. And accept. Control click that in. Just double double check to make sure it's the item. It is. It's not corrupted. We say accept. And whisper. Thank you. And that's how you get your first item from the first person. You know, pretty cool. And we're going to leave the party. And we're going to use the waypoint. We'll just go right back to here. All right, so now let's take a look at these shoes. Come on. The other shoes would have been better, but that guy wasn't. I might have been AFK or just didn't care. Here we go. So, we've got these shoes, so we're going to move faster, and we can't be stunned, or not stunned, we can't be frozen, which is really nice. I don't like being frozen. Let's put these on. And it's red, red, so we're going to go Bolt Strike, Ruthless Support, no, right here, Bolt Strike, Ancestral Protector, Ancestral Call. I'll find it one second. Faster attacks, yes. Bolt strike is right here. And then the ancestral call. Oh, where'd that go? Right here. And then we might find a blue support. So let's go look up here. What, I don't think there are, but we'll, we'll look. Support. S U P. Not SIP. A blue support. Here's one, Combustion Support. Interesting. This will, if we look in the top left and see that little check mark up there on the top, top left where it says Supportable Skills, it knows what skills you have on your character equipped. So it would, it would support Molten Strike. It's the only blue support gem. So now at this point we have a four link, you know, a three supported gem uh, skill, which is really cool. Now it's going to cost a lot of mana to do it, but we're going to address that. Now what does this say it does? Ignited enemies by support skills have a minus 10 to fire resistance. Sounds good. Supported skills have a 25% chance to light them on fire. That's cool. And then 10% more fire damage. And the more is really important as well. And this takes one of our transport orbs. We're going to do it. Worth spending. Um, let's see how much it costs. Let's get out of that. Right now it costs 8 mana to do it and now it costs 11 so that's a chunk more 
If we if we don't need to, we can take that back. If we're really running out of mana fast, which we will be, um, it might be an issue. So next up, we want to find out what we want to. We're going to keep this over here just in case. Ancestral protector. We're looking at it. That goes with steel skin. That's fine. Uh, we can throw this in here. And away we go. So that was our first trade. And I'll show you what trade that we're going to be doing next. There's quite a few different items, but this is a really nice item to have the constant speed. And this will get us through for quite a while. I like that item. And we're going to go from there. Pretty cool. Nice. And now let's see what happens with our new four linked item. That's the big part. So we got rid of the frozen issue. We have, we're moving faster. We have more mana regen. And we have a four linked skill. This is a pretty nice situation so far. And let's do this. Let's drop a totem down. And, and it's going to upgrade pretty nicely too. So here's this guy we're not going to use. We're using chunks of mana there, but that's okay. We're going to address that next. And we've got our two mana potions. So, oh, then he drops down. We're going to fight him. I still haven't used the healing potion in forever. I probably will not have... I'll probably get rid of that second healing potion. This one over here. Not needed at all. And then we'll take all this to turn into alterations. As you can see, they're important. I think it's like 11 or 12 of, 12 of them are worth a, a chaos. And even early in the league, within a day or two, 12 of them are worth roughly a chaos. So you can get chaos this way. Uh, there's no uh, no excuse. You just gotta, gotta work at it. Those alteration charts, the glass baubles are really nice. As you can see, let, those are worth one and a half chaos. Pretty amazing. All right, I'm going to keep going, and we'll be right back. The next item we get is going to be pretty amazing. I'll have to double-check to make sure it's the one I'm thinking of. This is so nice. I can just sit in the middle of all this. I don't have to worry about it frozen. I don't have to use a heal potion. The only thing I have to do is press the uh, <laughs> press that uh, mana thing, and we're going to fix that next. Let's pick up that, and that, that, that. Oh, I didn't want to pick up that. That oh what was it? There was a white item that I picked up. I don't know where it went. Oh well. And we'll pick up the wisdom scroll. And away we go. You know what? Just for fun, this leather belt. Let's actually put it on. There we go. And now we have 469 health. Pretty cool. And oh. And we're full up, so we're going to keep on going. Now Nessa, as a reward, she's given us one of these things. And you don't want to you don't want to split your attention between, you know, you want to work on one skill. You don't want to be doing Sunder plus that or Bone Shit. You know, you want to do one skill. Um, otherwise, it's hard to link them up and improve the skills. It's just hard. So I'm just going to take this and sell the gem. I don't mind. And we're going to... Do the normal thing where we identify all this stuff. And some of it might be an actual upgrade, but not that. Not that. Uh, not that or that. What about this elbow? Those. We're going to get this. What about that? Let's compare it. Well, we need one more red socket. Although technically we don't. Because uh, I think we have two ancestral protectors going on right now. So, this could work. And then we could get like a faster uh, attack with our totem. So let's see. We're comparing it. Strength, life, uh, regen, reflect, all across the board. And then the base stats are better as well. And some energy shield. We'll use it. And then we're going to sell this off as well. Let's uh, replace that with this. Ancestral protector. So we're going to put that there. The steel skin goes here. I don't necessarily like that. Oh, oh, I forgot we have an armor thing right here. Just put it right there. And we'll keep leveling this one up as well just for fun. And we're going to sell these things off. We're going to sell that off and that off. 
Okay, making progress Goodbye. here. Oh, another skill book. We'll take it. And we're just going for this right here. There's a lot of good stuff over here. There's all kind. There's there's stuff all over here that's really fun. We're gonna go that way, and we'll keep going. Yes. Nessa, we're gonna purchase from her that faster attack. Fast, right here. One transmute is worth it to us. Now that thing's gonna, you know, hit a lot more often. Pretty cool. And let's go put well, the stuff in our tab that. in our our thing here. Oh, I did not spend that point. And we're almost getting to the point where we can upgrade that. That'll be the next thing, because, you know, it's not healing. I haven't used it, so, in fact, I'm going to take this out of here just to prove that we're not using Oh, if we have three of these, yes, let's do that. Hello. One, two, three. Now, and it's not red, so we can use it. Beautiful. Now we've got one that heals for 360, although we haven't used it. Um, this Ruthless, let's put that in there as well. And let's make sure we're using the right Ancestral Protector. Because I have two on here, and that's kind of weird. So let's go like that, and put it on there like that. And let's put our Steel Skin back here. Off of there, you got to replace that one every once in a while. And this, we won't, we won't yeah, level up to, otherwise it'll get confusing. We'll put that away. We can sell this. Don't need it anymore. Hello. Eight. So that's almost a shar, uh, a full alteration Hello. orb. We're making progress here. Pretty cool. Let's keep going. Ooh, here's one of these again. We're definitely. This is like a. It's a, like a chaos orb, but it's not as valuable at these lower levels, but these are valuable later. Um, but they're very valuable to us as we're leveling. And I'll show you why in a second. Get to this thing. There we go. And we got to walk around here. Oh, here, here's a rare creature. But these are nice for us, and I'll show you why at the next town. That's what we're coming. Nice, we're... We're not in any danger. I haven't used a health potion in a long time. <laughs> okay, let's open this thing up. We'll put a totem down for it. And we'll see what this one is. And it's going to be more than likely different than the other one, since. And. Very nice. Gauntlets. Alright, let's take a look what we got. This one is green. Notice this one does physical damage to a, a regular normal one-hander. It, it, it puts that modification on there. But this one does cold damage penetration. And then in other items, any other item, it'll just add deck. So this we're going to use on other items. Maybe like this. We could do it right now just for fun. Let's see. Or that mana regen. Or that ring. We'll figure it out. We're going to use this soon. And then uh, let's identify these items. This one, this one, and that one. Um, also, I want to start saving probably one teleport, just in case I need to teleport back to make a trade, but I'll sell those for Wisdom Scrolls. As you can see, we're low on Wisdom Scrolls again. Well, let's compare this. Now, it's red-green. It's very going to be difficult to replace that, but this one's nice, and it's across the board better. So, yeah, we'll take that. And it's got a red uh, spot on it. All right, we're in good shape. Let's keep going, and we're about to make a deal for another. Yeah, I have an idea for that. There's another one of these. nice. We'll open it up, and it's a serious fight when you open this thing up. But so far, we have not had to use a health potion. I've even oh, I thought I took that off of there. Let's take that off of there. We're gonna commit to it. Whispering woe, composite, and that now. I'm starting not to use my... I, I don't have enough of these right now. So I'm not going to ID the blue ones. I'm just going to ID the rare yellow ones. Items. Because you get more uh, stuff out of that. So these I'm just going to sell as rare... Uh, as blues for the trans... Um, we'll compare that. The blue socket. So it's unlikely that we'll be able to use this. Unless it had just amazing stats. Which it doesn't. So 
there's a nice unidentified oh boy it's a bit better than ours let's find out what it's got on. here we go dexterity no not better we'll sell it off that was our last wisdom scroll let's go over here we're going to do the merveil fight i think oh we got a, i thought it was way through there but let's go over there and have fun with it i'll see you in there well it's right here so let's just go right in Oh boy, here we go. See how well this character does. I like having the non-freezing at this point. I don't know if she freezes us fully. And I'm using two potions at once. The the mana potion, I'm using both of those. And let's walk over to her. Put this on. We can use the shift space for the quickness one. Oh, I'm almost thinking about using a heal potion there. But I didn't. And I've got the totem down. And I'm just face tanking her, which is not ideal, but <laughs> we'll use more mana potions. We'll drop down another totem. And we're just having fun. Oh, a little scary there, a little scary. But no, I didn't I'm I'm resisting using a <laughs> a heal potion. I even took one of them off there. Now we're into our second phase. We'll drop the totem down. And we're going to try to face tank her down here. We're just doing chunks of damage. Kind of fun. We'll get step out of the uh, water tornado thing. Uh, let's step out of it at least a little bit. That'd be nice to... I'm tempted to use a heal potion, but I haven't. Come on. We'll use all these guys to heal up. Get out of the water. Let's walk around this way. We'll breathe her. Okay. We actually like it when the ads come out because we get healed up by them all. The ads being extra monsters. Oh, wow, the healing potion. It's hard. And close, but no heal potions used. Very nice. Alright, so there's a bunch of stuff here. We're going to drop this on the ground because we're going to be... We want to sell the, this stuff for um, more valuable to sell. And we'll even drop both of these. And we could rearrange this area a little bit more. Oh, the shield is probably oh. There we go. And there we go. And I don't have any wisdom scrolls to ID that shield. But this one's probably going to be better. So let's go on to the next thing. Doreso gave me the gem. And we're going to go right to town and we're going to make our next trade. And let's go, let's just go to the old, we're in Act 2, but we're going to go right back to Act 1 just to sell real quick and then we'll go right back. Come on. Oh, it's a bunch of uh, rewards too. I thought you're a Sell. We're going to sell, sell, sell. Um... I'd like to ID that. It could be better than... It could be a lot better. So we're going to ID that. And that. We want to ID all this stuff. Okay. How can we get some of these? Yes. Sell item. Um, this one right here. And we'll give up on our other... We need that so bad right now. So... I don't want to get rid of this. This is kind of valuable, oddly enough. And here we go. We'll ID this one. And we'll compare it to what we have on. Oh, it has the two reds. That would work. And it, and it would work with this as well because it's connected. So we can use this. And we get some resistances. Nice. Let's replace that out. And we're going to move the Ancestral Protector there with the faster attacks. So it's linked. It's done that way. And then we're going to move Steel Skin right here. And we're going to have to replace it. That's the only one that doesn't remember its location. And then Ruthless Support will keep on doing its thing over there. We're going to sell this off. Let's say accept. Now, we're, we're so low on Wisdom Scrolls that I'm going to I'm gonna save to sell this stuff in a little bit when we get some more. And we will. Oh, we've got two, but I'm going to keep them for us. 
This item is important to keep a hold of. Got four of them, though. We could do this. One, two, three. Because sometimes the vendor will ask for this to buy an item. And I suspect that's going to happen soon. So let's see if we can get... Hello. It's, it's not a good idea to do this, but get 12 Wisdom Scrolls. Because these you can actually turn into glass baubles, but you need eight of them, and we don't have eight. And the glass baubles are worth one and a half chaos. So that's definitely not a good deal this way. We're not going to do that deal. Goodbye. We're just going to go like this. And we're going to put all these things down here. We're going to be using these shortly. In fact, let's use one of them right now. This dexterity one. Let's just put it right here. Just have some fun with it. We could do it there, or we could do it on the let's do it on the damage on this. Let's see if we can get some fun out of that. Dexterity, all stats, intelligence, mana. That's eh, not bad. It's something. And then we're gonna put these things away. And we're gonna put this here and this here. All right, that guy. We're gonna see if he's still uh, still online. We're going to offer, um, we're going to do this offer. Let's see, not this stuff. We're going to offer him three of those, three of these, and that for a chaos. Let's see if he'll do this deal. Okay. So... <laughs> This will be interesting. Here we go. We're going to push up. Um, that was the last guy. So, we're going to open this up. Hi again. One chaos for three whetstones. Three alterations. Four transmutes and two augment. Oh, he's still online. Here we go. We're trying to get one chaos orb out of this. And we'll see if he says yes or no. Damn. This and this, and we'll go go back to the other area. We're gonna set these aside. Might do it. We'll find out shortly. He might be um, what you could do to find out where he's at. To you know, go like this. His name is Max Tracer. Who is Max? Traxer. He's in the desert hideout. He might not be uh, at his keyboard or making a different trade or just doesn't want to do it. Or he's not you know, he's AFK. So let's go back here and there and we'll keep going. But we know his name now. Max Traxer. There we go. And let's keep going. Okay, we've made it to the next act. And we're going to spend our next point. It's a good one. Nice. Now it's going to... Uh, we can reach further with that um, uh, Molten Strike. And do more damage. And regen and strength and all kinds of stuff. And then we're going to figure out what we're going to do with that next. That's nice stuff. Um, we found this uh, belt on the ground. We'll ID it. And it's a little bit better than ours. So we'll take it. And then we'll sell this one. What? just a regular one and now this we're going to use this right now but we're going to use this one on something we have on let's see that one let's do it on this uh actually we're going to hold off one second but we're going to purchase this is what we were waiting to purchase right here uh, we have to wait till level 17 to get it but uh to use it but we're going to purchase um, that one adds fire damage. That's kind of nice. Um, we could end up purchasing both of these. 
But let's purchase this one first because it has the eight on hit. It's the next level up, the next tier of weapon. So let's go like this, and we're going to use our uh, essence, of the whispering essence, that it adds physical damage. Here we go. And nice. Okay, so this one does. Ooh, it adds 51 mana. It can poison stuff now. It can. It adds a little bit of damage too, but we can't use it yet. We're gonna put it right there, and we're gonna buy this one, and just to have it to compare it to the two, the two. So we're gonna put it right there, no problem. And then we're gonna use this in a second. So let's go back over Probably here. Fun. We're gonna talk to all those guys. We put all this stuff away, and we're gonna make our next you deal. Hopefully. Me. There we go, and I'll be right back to make the deal. Okay, we just messaged a guy that's dealing in single chaoses. He might do the deal. Um, the last guy did a deal, so let's see if he, this guy will do it. And we'll wait a few seconds. Maybe, maybe not. It's a bunch of these things. It's almost worth, worth a chaos. Probably just barely a chaos, all of this. And he's contemplating it, or he might not even get the keyboard, or he doesn't want to do a trade for one chaos. But it can't hurt to ask. And we're going to keep going from there. The next item we're going to get is really, 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 really worth it. I don't know if we'll be able to snag it for one chaos, though. So let's keep going. And what we're trying to do is build up a better um, set, of, set of items here that people will actually trade a chaos for so that we can trade just chaos straight up for the next item that we're going to get. And we just found and identified this item, and it's that 6 movement speed. I really don't care. Right now I only care about damage, which I'm going to be upping shortly here. And then mana, life is completely fine. So movement speed. I'll take 6 extra movement speed. Sounds good to me. Let's just throw it on there. And because I don't care about what the sockets are socket colors because I'm using the sockets in different things over here I can just swap it out and not even mind and I'd like to keep that item let's see oh trade a rare cell for you know more stuff it's already identified too so away we go now we're moving a little faster now let's spend that point and we have a choice um we only have two refund points. If we go this route, it we might get an item that backs us out of that. So we're not going to quite do it yet. At level 22, we might get the item. It's very unlikely. Um, so we're going to go this route for now. We're going to get more life, oddly enough, after I just said we've got plenty of it. Um, but having more is always nice. And away we go. If we get the item, we don't have to care about mana at all. Or very little. <laughs> and away we go. Oh, and let's test the two weapons. We're level 17 now. And we're just going to use this as the, um, the criteria for better. 186, night and day better. Okay, now this one. This one, it's rare. You'd think it would be better, but let's find out. Nope. So, oddly enough, it was the right thing to do. Um, what was it? Accuracy that pushed us over? Let's see. This one, our, it's the accuracy is the same. So, what pushed us over? Um, it's that big fire damage. The added fire damage. That was just too good to pass up, so that was the item. Very cool. Um, this one doesn't poison, but that's okay. And we'll go from there. Very nice. Now our damage should be a lot chunkier. And... Ooh, just in time for this guy. Drop that down. And... What are... 208 is our damage now. Very cool. Leather belt. And... We have two items here. Let's grab this leather belt. Put it here. Use this item on it. More life, I guess. What do we get? A three roll. We'll compare it, but it's a lot better than what we have on. A um, little bit less life, but it has some resistances on there. 
some stun resistant or duration and swap that out and this we're going to take oh boy don't really have room let's move this over here drop that on the ground we're going to that's a chromatic so we're going to take that and we'll take this as well and we'll keep going if you see these ghosts see how the ghosts are touching those and making them better they're going to drop more loot now because of that ghost nicer loot it dropped all of that so it's definitely worth it to let the ghost run through and touch a lot of them and here we go wisdom scroll done done and wisdom scroll. we still need to get back to town do the um trade and sell off this stuff but the next move we make is going to address our mana hopefully and if it doesn't we'll uh, go from there but it's nice we're we've addressed our um our damage We've addressed our health. We haven't used a health potion in five levels. I I've never, I haven't used one for a long time now. And we're leveling this up. We have a four link. We have, we're immune to being frozen and we're moving faster and faster, which is nice. And we're going to the crossroads next. Right over here. Pretty cool. Grab the, t uh, the, the, um, Waypoint right in the middle there. We're going to go back to town and we're going to sell this stuff off. And we'll have more loot. Alright, we're in uh, our second big choice and we're actually going to go for a second um, one of these. And we'll identify it. And it gives us even more movements. And we're going to put that one right there. That is a quality item, so we're going to ma make sure to put that in the, um, the recipe. See how it's 11? And that's a nine. Now we only need 20 more and we'll get one of those baubles, which are worth about at least a chaos, maybe one and a half chaos at best. So right there, this is worth half a chaos. So we're in good shape. Let's keep going. We're just trying to collect some more currency to make our next deal. And we're trying to get to level 22, which will get there very quickly. And now we're up in the broken bridge area. And we're going to do the first part of the bandit quest. And the bandit quest has a thing where you go out and you either help or eliminate three of these bandit leaders. You eliminate all three, you get two um, skill points to use. If you help one of the three, you get a certain buffs from them. We're going to do it where we just get the skill points. Um... Helping Alira is nice. It'll help on our mana, but we're going to get a... Mana's not going to become an issue. So we really would only get some critical strike and maybe one other thing from her. So we're just going to help. We're, we're just going to eliminate all of them and go from there. Let's continue right over here. Oh, that is just sellable. And let's check. The, we want those wisdom scrolls because we're turning wisdom scrolls. We're IDing the... Um, Ideally, the rare the rare items to get alterations to make deals for chaos. Let's go uh, find the guy. Let's go ahead and open this one up and risk it. Might be deadly, but we'll see. Might be some good stuff in here, though. And that, um, what do you call it? The um, quicksilver one that we just got. We could use an augment on it um, and add another. Um, Modify, add one more modifier, but it's a little risky. It might shorten the duration, so I'm not going to do that. But that's a possibility if you want to risk it. Let's pick up all this stuff, and we're going to ID a couple of things right off the bat. This and this. Not that item. I'm not sure why I picked that one up. Okay, let's compare it. We could lose life, and no. And this one accuracy rating where our accuracy is good already but then armor a little better regen is only one so that's good 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 some lightning resistance this would be fine to use and we're going to look at our defenses what does that change we're at 46 percent physical damage reduction because of 143 armor put that on there we'll go up to 50 percent a little better just interesting Let's pick this up, and let's ID that one. Oh, a chromatic orb. 
And we don't really have a lot of room. A little bit of room. We'll maybe pick up that and that and that. Okay. Let's ID this thing and we'll compare it. Strength, intelligence, a uh, little more armor, some energy shield on this one, max mana, cold, all across the board, a lot more fun. So now, 51%, a little better. And as you level up, this is going to go down, so you're going to have to continually upgrade your armor. That's a doable thing. Let's go ahead and find this guy that we're supposed to fight. Oh, looks like this is the area right here. There we go. He's usually over there, but sometimes he's, he's around in this side almost always. So, here we go. And we have a choice. Now, if we help him and eliminate the other two bandits, then we'd get this. A permanent buff that does all this. Movement speed, that's tempting, but we're going to not do it. I'd rather have the two skill points. So we're going to we're gonna eliminate all three of these bandits. And here's the first one. Let's take this one out. So now I still have not used a heal potion. Not even on a boss fight or anything. And we're going to get our um, damage up next as, as well. That's going to be even higher really soon. Okay, very nice, very nice, very nice. And this is a, a relaxing playstyle because of the um, uh, 8 life per hit on anything that we hit. And it hits a bunch of stuff all the time. It's just a very relaxing playstyle. If you're new and you want to just have fun at it, that's the way to go. Your death had more you could do, you know, a, a big two-hander, do more damage. But, you know, you gotta worry about dying's not fun. Oh, we're going to spend another point. And we're going to put it right here. Our next one's going to go there. And then at level 22, we're going to decide whether or not to spend these points here. Hopefully we won't have to. And 625 health. Let's go back to town. And we can just do it this way. And we just got those boots. Those boots, oh, they might have 20% speed on them. I don't know. No. So... Oh, he's happy with us. And we're going to sell off this stuff. Nice, 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 nice. And because I don't have a lot of wisdom scrolls, I'm going to sell them the un unidentified magic items. And we'll get transmit shard, which is okay. Okay. Let's take a look at what we have in here. Yeah, we have three. We can upgrade. Let's do an upgrade real quick. Hello. One. Nice. One. And put that back in there. Let's control shift these back in, and hopefully I've been doing that correctly. And let's see if he'll... S I don't Hello. think he'll sell us uh, on his last page. No, we could buy those for armor scraps. We're still not up to being able to buy the glass baubles. And that would be the ideal thing. What does this one do? Um... Armor, energy shield, so a white item. I don't know if it would work on that. It should. Let's go ahead and do it. It'll be fun. All right, so we got some cast speed. That's no good. Max life. It added a little bit. Some mana regen. Pretty cool. That'll help us out. And let's go to the next part. Nice. We just found this on the ground and I need it. And it is better than our current one. And then we can do a three for one and upgrade these as well. So now we get even more mana things. Let's keep going. We're, we're heading up uh, here next to fight the Oak Bandit. And Oak can be a little challenging um, if you do not have the damage to it. We do, and you should as well. There's no reason why you shouldn't at this point. We just uh, I didn't get lucky with anything. Um, I showed you how to do it, and you should be in the same boat. Let's go over there and win this fight. And our next point we're going to spend is going to make us move a little faster, too. Right in here. And it gives us some dexterity. And because I have so much health, I just don't even worry that I'm being attacked on the screen. And attack speed. So even that, it's going gonna, it's gonna to help us across the board. 186. 200 now. Pretty cool. And once you find the um, the waypoint in this area right here, just go just northwest of that, 
top left here, and you're going to get to the next zone. There's the path right to it. And then in here, in the middle-ish area in the top, there's two important things. There's the bandit in the middle-ish area up here. But this is nice. We're getting nice EXP just cruising along. Oh, we'll fight this rare. He could drop us some good currency to trade for chaos. Or that. Nice. And it should be right up here. There it is. Has a little exclamation point. And Oak. Now Oak is a what we'd call a DPS check. He has a regen thing. And if you don't have enough damage, just uh, fight something else. Get a little stronger. Get a little more, uh, either a weapon upgrade or something. Molten Shell's a fun one. And fight him then. But otherwise, we should be in good shape. Because we didn't get lucky on any drops. We just used what was available to us. We bought it off the vendor. This weapon was from the vendor, and that's where we're getting most of our damage from. So let's do this. So an enemy of if we help him, it would get this. And I'm not. I don't. That's not cool to me. I'm gonna get the two points. I want that more than anything. And let's see how well um, our DPS is doing. I've had more DPS, but there's his health bar right there in the middle there. And we're just going to base tank him down. Now he's half health. And we're going to put our totem down again. Let's do our mana back. Switch around and there's our totem back. And now he's healing up. I can see him heal up a little bit. But this was an easy fight for a melee. A lot of people can have trouble with it when you're brand new, but that went very smoothly. And the amulet there and there. Good shape. And cat's paw, is that an eight? This might be better than ours. You never know. I mean, we found it off the ground, so let's identify it and compare it. Poison. Now, poison won't show up on our the number here, but this should go down. But poison doesn't show up. But poison's not going to do that much damage to it. So it's not an upgrade. Let's uh, ID this item. And we'll compare them. Um, mana, max life, damage. Could it do more damage? No. Across the board, this is an upgrade. We'll just keep going and we're going to go. Uh, um, there's a waypoint that we want to unlock while we're here. Let's do that. And then we'll go back to town and sell. And we want to fight this guy too because he might give us some good stuff. But that was an easy fight with Oak. I mean, it really was. And let's ID those and compare them. Does it have movement speed? And that's the thing if you get a decently rolled item, but this four links is just so nice to have. It gives us so much damage. If you buy some movement speed boots, you don't have to buy the Wanderlust. But um, for me, I think that was well worth it. It's just movement speed is so nice to have. And here's the item. My sprint potions. Just gotta use, remember to use them. We can automate them later. And this is where we're gonna end up once we're done with this act. We're gonna go through there. But we need to open that up. Let's go back to town and sell. And we'll go from there. I'm still low on those wisdom scrolls. So we're gonna go sell item. We're gonna sell one of these trans. I don't like doing it, but we'll do it. Not fun. Not enjoyable. Molten Shell, this could be something you use instead of the uh, Steel Skin. Um, there's reasons to use it once you get enough. I think it's the armor that it works off of. Um, but that's a possibility as well. But I just use, I've been using Steel Skin. It removes the bleed. It's nice for me. It works out. But you can use it. And either way, you can have fun with it. Let's go see how much stuff we have right now. Um, we're working on our next Flask level. We're working on our next mana almost and then we'll put these away and let's, let's see how much we have we have 11 of these that's worth a chaos so I think we can get a chaos but we're not level 22 yet when we're 22 we're going to make the next deal and it's either going to be for a weapon which would be awesome or it's going to address our mana issue completely let's do that we're going to keep on going and we want to go here, and then here for the next, um, for the next uh, bandit. And this, if we get here 
quick enough, it still, um, lie, you know, it still looks like we've been here before. You know, we it's still exposed as the areas there, like this. We're going to follow this to the next area. And we're going to go find the next bandit. And I'll show you where the, uh, where the, uh, what do you call it? The waypoint is as well. Oh, those blue guys. I always want to fight the blue guys. They give a lot of EXP and, you know, better loot as well. Jeweler's orbs. This item, if you use it, it rerolls the number of sockets on an item. I don't really want to mess around with that. Those are pretty valuable. But later, you'll be using a lot of those. And it's easy. You won't really think anything of it. So right now, we're really tanky. We're moving decently quick. And... We're doing well so far. Oh, and another level. We're almost to the next level, and then we're going to make our deal. So if we follow... Did I mess, leave something on the ground there? I feel like it did. Nope. Okay. And we follow this. The trick to finding... There's three things we have to find in here. The, there it is, right there. You find this... Um... If you find the torch here, this little fire torch here, torch, it points to Alira in general. What was that over there? Nope. So we're going to go up this way, and we're just going to look for her. along. And she's along the wall. That's and we're going to not spend these points for a second either until we decide what we're going to do with... Oh, take out these two guys. And that chest is worth getting as well. Nice. And we'll upgrade that. And you just don't want to be right in the mix of them when you open it up. They could just all explode, and it would be bad. Another whetstone, that's good. If you have eight of those, they're technically worth a, a glass bobble. We just can't get the vendor to sell them to them. Um, do that. Now, if you have Transmute Shard, it's worth four of those, but of the Transmute Orb, but I don't want to use that in general. And here she is. Nice. Look at this. And this is a legitimate thing. It does re She offers quite a bit. The plus 15 to all resistances is the thing. Now, later, if you're playing Softcore Trade, it's so it really is easy to get capped, meaning you're... Resistance to 75 and even higher. Um, so you really don't need this. We're going to get rid of the mana issue uh, a couple different ways. So I don't really need that. And the gold, that's nice to have more damage. But, you know, for two skill points, to me, it's just not worth it. So we're going to take her out. And here we go. And she's not as bad a fight as Oak. Oak is a pain because he regens. But we'll take her out. And swing faster. We have two things to address now. Mana and damage. And we're going to address those very quickly. Okay, we'll take that and that and that and that. It's nice to be able to just relax and pick up stuff and not really worry about our health. And away we go. Now there's two other little side quests down here. One is the spider in a den and he's going to be along the edge. Now he could be along this edge or all the way around here, so we're just going to work our way along the edge. Looks like not along here. But we're going to find the next guy. There's a fight that we have to get to, and it's really worth it to. And we'll take this out. We'll take that Wisdom Scroll, and we'll take the next item. we got to fight a, a little mini-boss over here as well. Ooh, these are fractured items, meaning crafters use these. And I'll identify it and show it. One of the stats, see that lightning stat? That's fractured on there. If I were to re-roll this with a chaos orb or something and get brand new stats, that lightning thing would be fractured on and stuck there, which is a good thing if you're trying to craft and it's one of the things you want on it. Interesting. What is this? Reduced amount recovered, instant recovery... That is interesting. So we've got a fractured flask. I don't. I don't run into too many of these. <laughs> That's kind of neat. We'll actually use it. Well, no. Uh, it's an 
reduced amount recovered. No, we won't use that. But it's it's just interesting to find it. Um, kind of a rarity. I don't. I haven't seen one of those lately. I should have seen one. Maybe I've just been unlucky. I don't know. Um, we'll put this over here, and we're gonna identify this as well. Oh, that guy just ran up and said hello. Oh, now there's now all his buddies are coming. All right, let's identify this, and I'll just show it to you. That has lightning on it automatically. And then this will have something else on it. Now later in, in the game, in the end game, you can get a really good base item with a perfect fracture on it. And you can hold alt. It'll show you the tier, like a tier one fractured something or other on there. Well, that could be worth hundreds of chaos just to, you know, as a base. Pretty cool. Let's go fight this fight. We'll upgrade that and that. And we gotta fight these guys. And then we're gonna have to go back to the other town as well. And put that down. There we go. Uh oh. Hope we just barely had enough room. So you fight these guys. You walk right over here. And now we gotta talk to Bestel in the first town. And he gives us a skill point. But we're gonna find the den. So to find the den, you just hug the wall. And we'll find it. I'll be right back. We found our first bow side area. This is kind of neat. Um, it's a side area that makes things more difficult, but there's a cool thing at the end, and it has extra modifications to the area. So these do this, but we're going to go right in and have fun in there. And there's an interesting item. It'll drop a, a like a corrupted type. It's called a valve gem, skill gem. So it's a special gem. And we're full up on stuff. Uh, we'll drop that. And we'll drop that. This is worth more. And let's go fight our way to the... And it's not... It's a short little... This, this, this area is just a short little item area. But it's interesting stuff in here. So let's go uh, find out what it is. Ooh, let's, let's see if we can get him to touch everybody. There we go, and more loot for us now. Very cool. And we'll take that. And do we have any... Oh, these blue items. Drop the blues. And trade them for... Rares. Oh. Yeah, this is not good. Playing Jenga here or something. Good enough. And we'll pick up ooh, an armor scrap. That's worth four, uh, four wisdom scrolls. I think two or four, four. I think. We'll see. And early on, it's odd, but you know, I really want the wisdom scrolls. I think you could probably trade a, a chaos for like two or three hundred of them, but uh, and then you wouldn't have to worry about it. But I want to use the chaos for an item. Now this is a serious fight, but because we get life gain on hit and everything else we just don't even we can just kind of ignore it and talk through it pretty fun all right any other blue items that we're carrying around oh I'll drop that put this here I'm just hanging on to that I don't see those two very uh, very often so kind of neat all right the valve this is where the thing is the item oh and we left we made it to level uh, 22 so we're gonna do our thing now lightning trap now there's a regular lightning trap skill, but this is called Val Lightning Trap. And what it happens is when you have this equipped, it builds up charges as you uh, kill the creatures, and then you can use the special version of it that does an enhanced thing. Pretty cool. Ooh, and, uh, this is our corrupted item, meaning it can't. Uh, it's very expensive to re-roll the number of sockets and stuff like that on it. It's kind of fixed in place. Um, but it's an interesting item, and do we need anything? We're not even using any sockets in there. So let's do this. Let's temporarily chuck that on the ground. Or even better yet, let's chuck this on the ground. And it should be about worth the same, but it takes up less space. And let's ID both of these items. We're going to compare this one to that one. Accuracy, armor... Is reflect the one we have on is better, and this has some fire reflect uh, resistance, cold strength, and more life. And 
I like this one a little better, actually. Just a little better. As ours has mana, but more life, and more energy shield. But it's close call. It really is. It has the fire and the cold. Ah, we'll keep the one we have on. It's a close. It's, it's a toss up. We'll go back out here. We're not going to spend our points yet. And we're just going to find that den. And I'll be right back. And here's the weaver's den. It was way over here. But it's up against the wall. And we're going to go find her in here. Let's do it. And here's the fight. Just wandered around until we found the entrance. And it should be the fight. Oh, it scares you. <laughs> and we're going to do the uh, next trade for chaos. And then we're going to try to get the item. And if we don't get that, we're going to get a better weapon so that we do even more damage. But I want to take care of this mana issue next. Either way, we're going to address it. Yeah, let's do this fight out. But I'm just standing here face tanking. It's very easy gameplay. You're going to get really far and you're not going to have problems. So it's enjoyable. I like it. So let's get the mana back. I'd like to upgrade that mana flask, but again, we, we might be up uh, addressing this. Let's drop down the totem. Oh, he's tougher. There, the totem down. Now we can damage on him. Oh, he's got to get away. Oh, there we go. We're going to have to drop one of these things. Um, spike. Swap it out with that. And we'll take the chromatic and that and that. And we're going to use X character screen. And play. And we're going to be right back in town. Alright, I'm going to sell this stuff off. We have to go talk to Bestel as well. Let's do that before we get it, you don't get your skill point. Well, it's going to sit there, and at the end, you're going to figure it out that you didn't get it. A straight there. And, oh boy. Got to make yes. room. Sell. That and that. And, um, I guess we'll hang on to that for a second. Take care. And we'll just put it over here. That's a, oh no, no. That, that we can sell for a chromatic. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. And now the reward. Where was it? Uh, oh, best. How you going? Reward. Skill book. Done. Nice. Let's just get out of here and go back to the other town. And Act Two into this town. And we'll talk to him. There's and look at this. You say the Lord. I'm so Two sorry, skill points. Friend. Now I'm we have well. five to spend. We're not going to spend them yet. Yes, sir. And we're going to... That's an item we need for the quest. And let's go figure this out. We'll put this down here. It's kind of a weird one. And this goes here. And I've got them in order. I'll probably sell off this and this because I'm not going to find too many of these at this point. But we're okay. And let's identify some of this stuff. That, 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 and that. Speed. We'll sell it off. We don't want to wear that or... Oh, wait a second. There. We get more back for it. What about these? Could we wear them? 25 mana. A little tempting. This adds damage to us. We're not going to do it. This one adds a little bit of cold damage to the ones we have on, so we'll keep that one. And we'll sell off this fractured item, and we'll sell off these things. And the lightning trap, I highly doubt that it's worth anything. I'm going to do a little quick check. Probably not. We'll throw it in our... We'll just throw it away in our chest somewhere here. Let's put these into this thing. Hopefully doing this correctly and not mixing it with my other stuff. If I send it to there, it's just gone, essentially, for me. All right. So... A wisdom scroll, we'll take that. Any, oh, we'll take the portal scrolls, sell what that for them. And now we're going to work on getting chaos. One chaos so that we can actually make a deal. Which one do we want out of here? It would be great if we have a red, red, green, green, or red, red, blue, because this is close combat support. But what about something like this melee physical damage support? Hmm. 
Elemental, that would be a nice one. Um, that would be better than probably Ignite. And then... Shockwave, Rage Support, Ulti, and Volatility. So we're going to level this up in anticipation of getting a red, 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 green on something else. Very cool. And let's work on the Chaos, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that in a second. Okay, guys. Uh, it was the very first one I listed, and I'm going to show you what it is right now. I offered him 15 alterations and 3 whetstones. Um, and I said, hey, I'm, I'm buying it to, to actually use it, not to trade it away. Sometimes people think, hey, you're just going to try to, um, you know, trade it away. I don't want to do a weird deal. So let's go, uh, let's find out on the page what I look for and why I wanted this item. Um, oop, get out of here. Let's go back to town. I was about to do a trade for some chaos to offer him in chaos. Now, normally this item would cost a little bit more. Probably two or three chaos, maybe five chaos, but um, I got a good deal for it. And sometimes they list it that way because see that stat, that stat that says minus eight to mana cost of skills. That's what we're going for because look at this. Right now it costs eleven, and we'll take this mana thing off here. We'll put this on, and we're level twenty-two. And now it costs three mana cost to to do that. So now when I go out there and do all this, let's do this, and I'll show you how I search for it as well right now. All we did was, well, it's gone now, um, typed in Praxis. Prac with the uh, squiggly line, the tilde key, tilde. And you go like that, and you search. And I want this line, if you click it, it'll. you have to click it twice to sort by negative 8, being at the highest one. See these go up. Here's one for four. There's one for chaos. one chaos, but then five chaos, ten chaos, ten chaos. So just look until you find one for cheap, and maybe even look what look and find one that's um, minus seven cost, because that's the good. That's the best roll you get on it. So I got that. We're in good shape now. That takes care of our mana, and I'll explain how that works right now. Okay, so now we're back over here in Crossroads area, and there's our mana. Remember our mana was going down, and our health was, it's just not even an issue now. Three mana, we're, re we're replacing mana faster. Also, we're doing an Einhardt quest. That's um, a normal quest, so let's finish that out in this area. They want us to find five special beasts. One of them is going to be red, maybe more of them. Here's the red beast. And now, I don't have to push any buttons at all. I can just hold down my left click to move and right click to fight. Now if I want, I can drop a totem down. That'll help. But as you can see, we've solved our mana issues. We've solved our health issues. And the next thing we're going to work on is our weapon. And that is going to be pretty cool. Let's do this, uh, I'll show you this Einhardt fight, why it's important to do. And as you can see, we're going to work on our weapon damage next. And we'll get there really quickly. It'll be a really nice weapon, probably double our damage. But we solve the movement speed. We can run fairly fast, not really fast, but fairly fast. There's going to be a, a solution to that as well. It's pretty cool. And let's take that. And that and this and keep looking so I'm gonna look all over here until this says um, three uh, five of five we're gonna find all of them oh this is too funny they're all right here all bunched up they're trying to get us just in case I have my heal potion there but eh, it only heals for half my health so not that great I gotta get a better one Maybe I can buy one. We'll see. Look at all this stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Linked items. Nice. In fact, we're going to pick up both those. Take this, this, and this. And then we're going to open it up and we're going to switch over here. And we're going to take this leap slam out. And we're going to put this one here. Drop that on the ground. Put that one there. 
And now we're leveling up our Leap Slam on our offhand. Pretty cool. And we're probably going to have to go back to town to take care of this, all that stuff that we just got. And we're going to go, let's go back to town and do the Beast Fight. Because we just did Einhardt. That was a quest. We've got six points to spend. Oh my god. And let's go back to town. Take a quick look at this stuff. Um, we're going to ID, not that one. We'll ID this. That's worth things. So we got those 15. Um, he only wanted a chaos for that. And essentially we gave him 15 alterations and the whetstone. That was a, that was better than a, a chaos. But it's a little weird deal, so you had to sweeten it a little bit. All right, let's go uh, trade these off. What? But, you know, just because it says a chaos, you can make deals with people. Don't be afraid to make a deal. Uh, just make them good enough. You know, don't... <laughs> really bad deals. Um, get rid of that. We're comparing it. Nah, we don't want it. Movement speed? Nope, we don't want it. And we'll get that out of here. And we're done with this ring for now. We didn't want more damage, so goodbye to the mana ring. And mana's not an issue. And because mana's not an issue, this is what this is why I held off on going up here and getting this stuff. Mana's not an issue. It might be later, but we'll, we can address it later. Now we're looking around and we're thinking, well, what, can, what else can we do? What kind of coolness can we get? Um, right here, actually right down here, is area of effect. I think I want some of that. In fact, it's a lot of area of effect. Area of effect craziness. Let's get all of that. Let's just have fun. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Oh boy. Now we're going to have some really big craziness going on. It's nice. It'll be fun. And let's put this stuff back in here. Carefully so I don't lose it into my other dash tab. And this is what we're sitting on now. These are our... I'm going to put this stuff over as our... our good stuff, let's say. I would like a new uh, heal potion, even though we haven't healed in a while. Let's take a quick Hello. look at that. Uh, where is it? Oh, that's over on her, I think. You are well. Heal potion. Three of them. Level 24. I'm going to buy one and just hold on to it. And it will be ready when, when it's ready. So we're at level 24. Now... Next item. Oh, boy. Um, do we have, essentially, essentially a chaos worth, maybe? Let's, uh, let's figure this out next. Okay, let's try to find a claw weapon. So we're going to go back here. We're going to make sure this is cleared. We're on the right settings, and we're going to go right here. Item category, claw because that's going to have the default um, life gain on hit. And then we want to limit it. We want to limit it to the level requirement of 24. We want to use this fairly quickly. We don't want to get a level 30 uh, item and have to wait for it. And then we're going to limit it to 3 chaos max. We're going to go back up here and we're going to say search. Okay, and then we're going to sort by highest physical DPS, or we can even go both. Let's go both. All right, um, this is a corrupted item listed for a day ago, and it's got a total of 91. Let's go and look a little bit further. We've got a 39.59. Let's search. What if we just search by physical DPS, just pure fizz? Keep looking, looking. 61, 61, 60. Pure fizz is just going to be that way. So if it's just a pure fizz weapon, but we're using Bolton Strike, so we could actually get a little bit more on there. And it's, it'll be interesting to see which way we go with this. I think we could probably get the, the fire on there, and it wouldn't be a bad idea. So let's go up to the top again. And we're going to sort by total. 46. It'll be uh, interesting if that if that works out better in our favor or not. 
100% accuracy when I'm low on life. That doesn't really matter. Um, when we're low on life, we get even more damage. Um, and this is three chaos. So we're looking through here. It adds the fire damage. That's nice. And attack speed when low on life. Uh, we're not going to go with that. That's a 91. And this is an 89, 39. Let's, let's see what this one turns out to be. This one right here. Um, and that one's corrupted. We're going to do this. We're going to do copy whisper. And we're going to make an offer for this guy. And it does a bunch of weird stuff. Oh, and it grants 12 life per hit. And what's the level requirement? 23. One second. I'll be right back. Okay, that guy was in German, so um, that was a no-go. I couldn't really translate well what this item would be. In the next video, I'm going to go over how to, how to you know, get up a quick uh, number of um, the currency. We'll quickly trade for chaos, but we don't have to do these weird trades. And then I'm going to show you some other items to get along the way to make your leveling even move faster. Uh, we'll do more and more damage, and so far, we're in great shape. We don't have to care about this. We're moving faster, and our life is completely fine. So, I mean, that if you can move fast, not have to worry about mana, and not die, you're in great shape. So, uh, we're going to do that next episode, hey, because I, don't, I think this is probably getting pretty long. I can't tell how many, because I'm doing edit cuts out of here, so I can't how long the video is so have a good one i hope this helps uh we're doing it we're having fun with this and have a good one guys enjoy